Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Sorry for my voice today, I'm a little bit sick, but it won't stop me from creating a new tutorial for you. And today I want to create this cute wagon that looks like it comes from some cute strategy game or something. And I will be focusing on several techniques um, that I use daily that can really speed up your workflow, whether it's taking advantage of curves or just reusing geometry to create new parts. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and I will just select everything here, press X and delete. And now let's press Shift A and create a new plane. Now tab into the edit mode, press S, then X and scale it up. This will be the base for the cart. And now press G, then Z and move it up slightly like this. Maybe not so much. We'll see about that. Okay, so this will be the base. Let's press E, then extrude. Now tab out. And with the cursor still there in the middle, let's press Shift A and let's add a circle. And now I'll go here and reduce vertices to 24. Now tab in, let's press R, X, 90 degrees. And let's move the circle, but not in the object mode, let's stay in the edit mode, so the origin point stays there. So let's press 1 to look from the front, and let's just move this to the side, just like that. Okay, and now let's press G, then Y, and move it to the side here, and press F to fill. Now let's slice this geometry up a little bit, so press I to inset, like this and once again here now let's press 3 for face select alt click here to select the loop and press p and enter to separate to another object and now we can just press a to select all and e to extrude like this and we can select the middle face and, and press g then y to move it a little bit outside like this now tab out select this new separated object tab in select all and press g then y to move it to the middle here and now we'll select some edges here, so let's press 2 for edge select, select this edge right here, and we'll select every third, so let's select these, and now press P and enter to separate again, now tab out, and now let's select the original circle object, press X and delete, so we are left with these edges here, now select them, right click, convert to curve, and now go to the geometry tab, and let's increase the depth here. And that's the wheel, and I bet it's the fastest wheel you ever created. So now let's select these spokes, and right click and convert to mesh. Now we can select everything here, and press Ctrl J to join, so we have one object from this. And let's go to the modifiers tab, and let's add mirror modifier, and let's enable Y as well. So we have four wheels here, and we can continue building our wagon. So let's select the base here tab in and with the top face selected let's press shift d right click to release and p enter to separate again tab out and select the new object tab in and let's select all and press s to scale down and we can additionally scale on y so s y and scale it down and now we can extrude the body and press s then y and widen it like this it will give this a little bit cartoonish look and now let's select these top edges by holding shift and we can right click and subdivide and let's select this edge right there and press ctrl b to bevel just like this and press g then z and move it up to create this shape right here and to make it a little bit smooth select these edges right there press ctrl b and bevel and we can increase the bevel count with the mouse wheel just like that so we have a nice curve there and now we can give this some more details, so tab in and let's select the roof, so by holding control I will select this whole loop and press Shift D, right click P to separate again, so the same technique and now let's tab out, select the new object, tab in and let's press Ctrl R to create a new loop here and move it here, just like that. And now we can go for face select again, select these top faces, press X and delete them. And now let's alt click this loop in the front, press G then X and move it slightly towards the front. 
select all by pressing A and Alt E extrude faces along normals, just like that, tiny bit, and then go for face select by pressing 3, select this face right here, and by holding control we can select this loop up until here, and press Alt S, that will scale along normals, and let's scale it like this, and now we can select these side faces and press Alt S again. Okay, and now tab out, let's add mirror modifier here as well, and we can do similar thing on the sides here, so select the body again, tab in, and we can select this face right here, press Shift D, right click P, enter to separate, tab out, select the new object, tab in, and now we can press 2 for edge select, select this edge, press G twice, and by holding Alt we can slide it outside, press A to select all and extrude a little bit, and we can go down as well, so select this face at the bottom, press Alt S and extrude it down. And now we can add mirror modifier here as well, but instead of X, we'll mirror along the Y axis. And to create some kind of pillars, we can shift right click here to move the cursor there, press shift A and add a plane here, and scale it down and now move it closer to the edge like this. Now tab out, hold shift S and snap cursor to world origin, right click and set origin to the 3D cursor. I want it to be here just as before. Now tab in, press E to extrude and we can press G then Y and move it to the side here just like that. And of course we can select this edge right here, press G twice and by holding Alt we can slide it up. And now add mirror modifier again and we'll enable both axes. So this will be the basic shape of the cart and now let's create some stairs here. So let's select the base object, tab in, select this top edge press shift D, right click P, separate, and now select the new object here, and press A and scale it down, so S then Y, let's look from the front, so press 1, and press E to extrude it like this, towards the ground, maybe we can make it a little bit wider, now let's press Ctrl R, create a new cut, right click to release, and press Ctrl B to bevel, just one segment, so reduce with the mouse wheel, something like this, and we can now press P to separate, press A to select all, E, then Z to extrude this down on the Z axis, and now we'll just select these bottom vertices and slide them up, so let's press 1 for a front view, press G twice and slide them like this, now tab out, select this separated object, tab in, and we can press Ctrl R and create the new cuts like this and press Ctrl B to bevel them. Now let's select these new faces, press X and delete them and you can see this one is a little bit more narrow so let's compensate for that by selecting these edges on the top and the bottom and sliding them up a little bit. Just like that and now select all and we can hold period on the keyboard to switch to individual origins and now you can easily just press R, then Y, and rotate them separately, just like this, and E to extrude, and you have some stairs. And now just select all, press S, then Y, and scale them like this. So quick and easy stairs, and now some additional details, like door and the window. So let's select the body here, tab in, select this edge right here, and Shift S and Snap Cursor to select it. They'll move the cursor right there tab out and let's press shift A and let's add a plane, now tab in S to scale it down and S and Y to scale it down on Y axis and now press E to extrude and of course we can give this some cartoon treatment as well so press S then Y and scale it just like that and of course you can even go more wild by modifying the shape a little bit so it's a little bit cartoonish and crazy and now let's select the front face, press shift D and P to separate, we'll save that for later, and now tab out, select the original door object, shift click the body here, and press Ctrl minus to create a boolean cut there, uh, but first make sure to go into the preferences add-ons and enable bool tool add-on, and after that these shortcuts will work for you, and now select this object that we separated and save for later, tab in, 
select all press G then X and move it inside and we can press E and extrude and now we can press I to inset and slide the bottom edge up a little bit and we'll create some kind of window here press E to extrude and that should do the trick and I like to use booleans for this to have the non-destructive workflow so it's easy then to reposition um, the object and change its proportions but here on the side you can do something different if you want let's select the body object here tab in select this face and press i to inset slightly just like this so this edge stays at the top now select these edges make sure you hit period and switch back to medium point and then press s and then x to scale them on x axis like this and now select this edge press g twice to slide it up now let's select this face right here, press E, then Y to extrude it on the Y axis. Now press Shift D and P to separate. So this is the same, basically we made the cutout, but we modified the geometry here. This is non-destructive, so it can be moved around. Okay, now select this object right here, press E, then Y to extrude it, I to inset and E, then Y to extrude again. So we have some nice cute window. And now shift right click here to move the cursor press shift a and add mesh single word if you don't have this option here go ahead in the preferences add-ons enable extra objects add-on and then you'll have this option right here and now let's extrude so let's press one for vertex select and press e to extrude a funnel little chimney like this now select these vertices press ctrl b and then v and bevel them slightly now tap out right click and convert to curve and again we can adjust the depth like this and now tab in select this control point right here press alt s to scale it up and this control point and scale it down okay now select this control point shift s cursor to select it tab out and let's press shift a and let's add a cone now let's reduce this to something like 12 now tab in, scale it on z-axis, move it up a tiny bit and we can delete the bottom face and additionally scale it and move around to match our chimney like this. Okay, so that's the card. Now I will hide these because these are curve objects, so press H and I will hide the boolean as well, so press H again. And now I want to bevel this to give this some smooth look. So let's select any object here and now go to the modifiers and add the bevel modifier and we can play with the amount here. So let's reduce that and add one more segment. Maybe we can even go lower on the amount just like that. And now in the geometry, I will set this to arc for some better corners and in the shading, let's enable harden normals and you will see the warning to enable auto smooth, but don't do it just yet. Now let's press A to select all and you can see this object state highlighted as the active object. So now we can click this little arrow and choose copy to select it. That will transfer the bevel modifier to all of the other objects. And now with all of them selected, go to the object data properties, expand normals. And by holding alt, we can enable this option for every object. So hold alt and click here. And now by holding alt, we can increase this to 180 degrees, right click and shade smooth. And we now have nice smooth card here. Press Alt H to unhide everything. And let's shade this smooth as well. And that's your card. Maybe here we can press Ctrl 1 to add some subdivision modifier. Okay, so that's this little wagon or cart modeling for you. Now I will go ahead and fast forward a little bit um, to create some more additional details, maybe some backgrounds and finish up with some materials and lighting. So you can see how this can be used as an illustration and I will see you on the other side.
So that's the cute settler's cart or wagon, if you will, illustration for you. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave that like. It will really help me. And again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.